Over the last two decades, the U.S. has experienced tremendous growth in local and or regional food systems. This growth has resulted from increasing consumer interest in understanding not only where their food comes from, but also how it was produced. The market drivers of these local and regional food markets are varied and include such things as trust, health motivations, sustainability and environmental consciousness, support for local farmers, or just simply the desire to consume freshly harvested products, to name a few. But regardless of the motivations, today's marketplace offers an array of opportunities for local and regional food systems to not only serve an existing demand, but to thrive as viable economic engines supporting local and regional entrepreneurship. In 2015, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's National Agricultural Statistics Service conducted a first-of-its-kind survey of local food system marketing practices. The survey, which was called Local Food Marketing Practices Survey, established baseline data and showed trends within these markets. The report revealed that farmers sold $8.7 billion of edible food commodities directly to consumers, retailers, and institutions, as well as a variety of local food intermediaries. The breakdown for that $8.7 billion was roughly 35% directly to consumers through traditional farmers markets and farm stands, 27% directly to retailers, and 39% of that $8.7 billion went through the traditional institutional and local intermediary business, but still was directly negotiated and, and sold from those farmers. In terms of direct to consumer sales, on-farm stores and farmers markets accounted for 67% of those total sales. Those sales include both fresh and value-added products, but fresh foods, primarily fruits and vegetables, are the primary product that is moved within the system. As a result of the growth of these markets, there have been significant public and private investments in infrastructure, technical assistance, and educational training to support the development and use of these thriving markets. USDA, in partnership with public and private entities, has launched a local food economic website that highlights a host of links and programs supporting local and or regional food systems. The website is available at localfoodeconomics.com and is titled, The Economics of Local Food, an Emerging Community of Practice. The website serves as a gateway to programs and initiatives launched across the U.S. The site includes links to benchmark data, directories, economic impact frameworks, toolkits, and reports and analysis of these markets. Also included on the site is a link to the 2018 National Direct Agricultural Marketing Summit, which was held in Arlington, Virginia in September of 2018. The summit sought to improve the capacity and performance of farms and businesses that participate in the direct-to-consumer agricultural markets. It represented a unique opportunity to interact on a national scale with researchers, technical assistance providers, and practi practitioners working in local food systems. Almost 400 attendees representing national level experts and, and leaders from across the U.S., industry, and public sector participated in the summit, providing an impactful setting to network, collaborate, and learn about resources serving local food systems. A 2019 summit is being, being planned, which will be held in Chicago. So please visit the website back again to keep abreast of the updates on the upcoming summit. You can also visit the website to learn about additional resources and tools that are also contained on there. But in terms of specific technical assistance, a number of land grant universities have launched programs to assist community with evaluating market development, entrepreneurship, as well as economic impact of these markets. Iowa State's local food systems programs are national leaders in terms of offering comprehensive trainings in this area. That's it.